In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer photos from your Android phone to your laptop. So I'm going to show you four methods. One of them is using a USB cable, which is the fastest method, and the other three are all wireless. So let's get started. Now I'm going to show you the first method, which is using a USB cable. And this, in my opinion, is the best method because it's extremely fast and you can use this to transfer large files and photos. So all you'll need is your mobile charger and then you'll just have to connect your mobile to your laptop. So once your mobile is connected, you'll just have to unlock it. After that, you'll just have to swipe down and then you'll see a notification which is related to USB. So just click on that. You've got to select transferring files, which is the first option. Now I'm on my laptop and I'm going to show you the next steps. The first thing you've got to do is just open the file explorer. After that, you have to go to this PC, which is over here. And then under devices and drives, you'll find your phone. So now I'll just click on my phone. Then if your photo is stored on the SD card, you can select that or else just go to internal storage. Then from here, you've got to click on DCIM. And over here, you'll find all of your folders, which have pictures. So now I'll just show you how to transfer picture from here to your laptop. So let's say I want to transfer my logo, which is over here. I'll just select it and copy it. So let's say I want to save it in my desktop. I'll just go to desktop, which is on the left, and then just paste it over here. And over here, as you can see, logo.png has come here. So the same way you can transfer multiple photos, videos, files, all of that from your phone to your laptop. The next method is by sending an email. And this is the simplest method if you only want to send a couple of photos, which aren't for large size. Now I'll quickly show you how it works. So first I'll just go to Gmail. After that, click on compose. So you have to send this email to yourself. So just type in your email ID next to two. And then you can just attach the file. So I'll click on the attach button, which is over here. Click on attach file. And here, as you can see, logo.png has come and now it's attached. So now I'll just send this to myself. Now I'm on my laptop. And as you can see, the photo has come here. And to download it, I can just click on the download button, which is on the top right. And then I can save it wherever I want. The next method is using Google Drive. So what you can do is upload the photo on Google Drive using your phone, and then you can access Google Drive on your laptop and download it. So I'll show you how it works. First, I'll just open Google Drive. After that, I'll click on the plus button on the bottom right, and then click on upload. Over here, I'll select the picture, and now it's being uploaded. So now I'll just go onto my laptop, I've opened Google Drive on my laptop and I'll have to make sure that I've signed in with the same account. And after that, you can just go to recent and over here, you'll find a picture. So now if I just click on it, then here, as you can see, the picture has come and to download it, I can just click on this icon on the top right. And again, you can save it wherever you want on your laptop. The second method is using phone link. So this is a built-in app, which is on every Windows 10 and Windows 11 laptop, and its older name was the Your Phone app. So I'll just show you how it works. So the advantage of using Phone Link is that you'll be able to see all of your photos over here, and all of this will happen without installing a third-party app. So I've made a detailed video on how to link your phone and your laptop using this app, and you can just click on the top right of the screen. But right now, I'll just quickly show you how it works. So just click on get started. After this, you'll have to install the app on your phone. Then you can pair with the QR code or manually. So I prefer QR code. And then it's done. So just click on continue. And now if you just go to the photos section, which is on the top over here, then over here, you'll see all of your photos. So let's say I want the first photo again. I'll just click on it. And then I can click on save as, which is on the top over here. And again, the same way I can save it on my laptop. 